Come on down, Vienna. Take a good look, Vienna. I'm sorry, Emma. Your brother was a very fine man. How would you know? He was one man who never even looked at you. He was still a fine man. We want the dancing kid and his bunch. Why come to me? They don't live here. You're one of them. Now, just a minute. We don't need you anymore, Marshal. We got enough trouble, Vienna. Don't you give us none. The only trouble we have here is what you brought in. Jinx. Yes, Mr. McIvers. You were driving the stagecoach. You saw the killing. Who did it? Answer the question. Well, there was four of them. I didn't ask you how many. I asked you who. The sun was shining in my eye. A while ago, you said it was the dancing kid. Say it now. You said it was the kid. I only said it could have been. Any more witnesses, Marshal? We don't need any more witnesses. We're taking you and your men into custody. Eddie. You can stop spinning the wheel. Come and get me, Mr. McIvers. We don't want no shooting, Vienna. I'm not coming peaceably, Marshal. Now, look here. This is a hanging matter. We can't just go arresting people without proof. If the kid was here, would you ask for proof? The dancing kid in Vienna aren't the same. I say they are. They both cast the same shadow. Someone holds up the stagecoach. Your brother is killed, and all you can think about is hanging the dancing kid. You know he didn't do it. You all know it. What's your real reason, Emma? Because he's a killer. What has he killed? Why do you hate him so? What did he ever do to you? Maybe you don't hate him. If you've got something to say, you'd better say it, Vienna. Let Emma say it. I wouldn't spit on him. Oh, he was always eyeing me. I never told my poor brother because Len would have killed him. That's why he held up the stage and killed my brother, because now he thinks he can get me. That's why. You've got it a little twisted, haven't you, Emma? Now you think you can get him. She's crazy. You want the kid and you're so ashamed of it, you want him dead. You want me dead, too. Then maybe you can sleep nights. I won't sleep till I see both of you hanged. You and the kid and all of your filthy kind. Look at her, standing up there, staring down on us like a somebody. Go get her, drag her down. I've never done a thing to hurt any of you. Don't make me do it now. You're nothing but a railroad tramp. You're not fit to live among decent people. You better get out of here while you can, you and your men. We're here to stay, Mr. McIvers. You'd better get used to that idea. We don't want you here. This was free country when I came. I'm not giving up a single foot of it. You don't hear so good. We don't want you here. You don't own the earth, not this part of it. You stay and you'll keep only enough of it to bury you in. I intend to be buried here in the 20th century. You'll never see a train run through. Now you said it. It took a long time for the truth to come out, didn't it? You and McIvers own the whole town and every head of beef within 500 miles. But that isn't enough, is it? You've got to own everything. You can't stand to see anybody else live. Well, you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> 